guys and welcome to my channel Flame Over 4. In this video I'm just going to do a short introduction to how I made this stage. So what I started with was a crate and then all you need is sort of like a wooden milk crate to make the frame and then I took some vinyl wrap which had it was it's kind of like a car vinyl wrap and it was sort of like checkered and then I just wrapped this bottom piece. To do the walls I took some brick sort of wallpaper which is for Doll's house and I laid the walls and put that on with just some sort of like border paste which is obviously really cool. And to make the photos or the pictures that are in on the walls here I had a reference from the internet so I went onto Google and I took those pictures and I just cut, I just scaled them down, I cut them out and laminated them and then just stuck them onto the walls there. To get the balloons, I just bought these off eBay. They were nice and cheap, they weren't too expensive. And the same with this little money box thing, that was on eBay as well, it was very cheap. And I just, instead of having the money box top, I just got a bit of felt on there. And then just put that there, so there you go. Right, so to make the doors, they were just sort of dollhouse doors. They were really cool to be fair, they were like £3 off eBay and I just cut them into the walls and then mounted them. If you do want to see the full video which is an hour long on how to make this stage, you can go to this link here and watch the whole video if you want to, if you want to see it in great detail. So I do have that video there but this is just a short one showing you how I've done it and then the extensions that I've made for it so far because we're going to be building off of this. As you can see here, we've done Pirate's Cove and we will have a video up how to make Pirate's Cove shortly. Right, before I go into too much on what we've done extra and the add-ons, I'll just show you. So we've got the bunting which is here. This is all explained how to make and do in the long video. And then we do have the light up stage, so we've got those. They're just done with fairy lights cut into the frame and then we've laminated the top with sort of like a vinyl sticker which you can get off uh, sort of any sort of uh, eBay site and then we've velcroed the little speakers on. I might do these black and then do them silver because in the FNAF thing they are black so we might get those blackened out which would be really cool. And then we've got the curtains at the back here which was just made of a bit of material. There are some people that are asking for the material which I said is not a problem. I don't mind sending you what I've got and a sample of it if you send me the sizes and stuff. That's absolutely fine. We've got all the characters here. We've got the marionette going crazy up here on the uh, light. But I want to show you guys the extension that I've been making. So obviously we have Pirate's Cove but that's going to be in a completely separate video. So stay tuned to the channel to check out Pirate's Cove and how to make one for yourself. Right, so let me just see if I can demo this without everything falling down. Let's see if we can put it here. So, what I, what I did is Jake wanted to be able to have the rest of the flooring and then he wants me to be able to do like the service room and the toilets and the corridors. He wants Pirate's Cove which is made and he wanted just all the extra add-ons so that we can make the whole set so basically we'll have everything off it and then all the characters will have their own rooms it's going to be a big set so if you want to see it being made stay tuned guys because it will be coming but this is the extension that i made so this is the front of the stage which is all magnetic so this goes on here like that which we're going to paint up and do it as sort of like the front of the um the, we're going to do it like the front of Faddy, Frezzy, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, I can never say it. So to do the front of that, we're going to have it like that. So these look like just a couple of lights, but they are actually the stand for the floor. So what I did was I mounted some magnets into the wood. So you can't see it here, but on this piece here, there are some little magnets done into the wood and they're cut in and then they're covered up with the felt tape on the edges and then obviously I've laminated the rest of the floor and as you can tell it's going to be an extension. On this top beam here there are magnets mounted into there and then the bottom bit here I've taken all this off and I've re-put it back on and then we put a strip of metal in there and then covered it back over and because of doing that it's allowed us to be able to put the floor on so I'll try and show you so the floor magnetics onto here and then now it's extended. So you've got the extended floor. I'll try and bring it up a bit more so it's more level. So there you go. So that's how it's going to be. So as you can see, the floor is now a lot more extended. We're going to go to a doll's house place because we've got like a it's like a doll's house. Um, it's I don't I don't know how to describe it. It kind of like does all like miniature 
things in this little shop in uh, Ipswich which is quite close to us and you can get cool things in there so we're going to have little tables and chairs on here but we want to get one specific to the actual stage so we want them to be good so that's why they're not here yet and we'll probably paint them up all old and then maybe get like little pizzas for them so that there's like little pizzas on there so we're going to this is going to be extended and it's just going to keep going until obviously we have everything in this area to do. We do have the sister location characters coming soon so obviously we'll have a video on that so if you like that remember to stay tuned to the channel and then once you're finished with it all you need to do is lift this up into place and then it magnetizes onto here like so. I just need to put it back down to be able to do it. So you just push that into that groove and then down like that. So it's kind of like a cover for the front but it kind of keeps everything together and then he can just put them away once he's finished and then when he wants to take it off it's just magnetized so it is literally just a push on and push off thing but you have to get them in place but once you do it stays absolutely fine and he really likes it we've got to get it all extended and it'll be finished then so there you go guys if you want to make one like one like this for yourself then you can all you need to do is you can go to obviously the hour long video if you want to if you want to check it in great detail if not then just get creative do one yourself if you've made one at home send it to me via one of my social media pages so I can check it out obviously it's good that there's so many FNAF fans out there and uh, keep building keep creating and get um, creative and just just build away guys okay and I'll see you on the next one take care now bye bye